Hi guys, Rob from Rides by Cam. Today's custom car building tip is to install a set of flush door handles. <laughs> So in the custom car building world, everyone's really always wanted to have a clean, sleek look on their door. So most people have usually in the past uh, got rid of their door handles altogether and had nothing. It's not legal to have a shaved door handle. Um, so this, in this day and age, we've kind of got the best of both worlds. This ends up being a flush fit door handle, which is a real nice streamlined finish and still operates like a door handle. So this handle in particular is uh, made by Dave Kindig from Bitch and Rides. We've probably all seen it before. They're a really cool product, really well made. They come with some little options like a change of direction, which will help you on a door like this one, for instance, on a Mopar. We've used these handles on lots of our builds. Everyone would have probably seen it on Havoc, and the Kudu that we're working on at the moment has got a set on it as well. So the first step on your door after you've dismantled all the components out of the door is to get it back down to bare steel so that you can get your area ready for welding. So to do this, we use the 3M Orbi with the 80 grit Cubitron 2 sandpaper on it. it. Works a treat. We use another cool product of theirs, which is a welding and spark deflection paper. So um, it pretty much protects all the area that we're not working on on the door. And the 233 plus tape again, we use this quite a bit as well because it's quite thick and it will hold all this down so you can actually cool the area down and it'll hold the paper down as well. Okay, so the next step is to make up your template to fill in the old door handle or the factory door handle hole. So, and when you do this, you, you, you wanna make sure that you weld in your new piece. So we've already made up our template. It's already contoured to the body line. Uh, and this is the piece that we will weld in there to get rid of the old handle. But we don't just stop there. You pretty much treat this like you're actually gonna finish it, flush fit with no door handle. Because you need to get this whole area dead straight, dead flat, everything's gotta be perfect. If you've got any lows, you need to fix that now before we install our new handle. If you've ever welded in this section of the door before, you know that being this far in and down in the door, it's, it's prone to being able to be warped quite easy under any heat from just even simple welding, no matter how caref careful you are. So it's really important to get this area exactly how it would have been dead straight, like if it was this section here, so that when we do install our new handle, it doesn't create any problems for us or any lows or warps or whoops in the, in the steel. Okay, so now that we've got the handle filled up and we've pretty much got a, a bare canvas again, a blank canvas to start with, now we can start working out where to position our new flush fit door handle. Now there's a few things to consider in that. Uh, most importantly, how it's going to line up with your striker that's inside the end of your door here. So the mechanism has to be sort of in the right spot and you also want to get it in a pretty close to being factory position to where a door handle would look so it doesn't look odd. So the next step for us will be to get out, that's our template there, that's our hole size that we need to cut in the actual door itself. So we'll get that hole cut out. We'll actually take the center section out of the door handle. We'll insert this from the back. We'll weld the, the back section of the handle in place and then we'll fine tune it from there and make the, the flush fit handle uh, final fitment. Okay, so our flush fit door handle install's done, the steel side of it's finished. Now it's onto the rush treatment and then your etch primer, getting it ready for body work. And we'll show you how to do those steps in another episode. <laughs> 